Hello guys, it's me again. Uh, this time for player a matchmaking game uh, in in this way. So uh, here Colossus. Um, there is some incentive to pick a here, and but um, on the other hand, there is also some incentive to pick B because we are next to Giza. So that's yeah, I'm going to go. This is very highly rated table, so it should be pretty challenging. Uh, one of them I expect, or both, to go green. I expect him to maybe go full green and him to splash it. Um, I think I'm in the prime position to win fights kind of cheaply, so... Sounds pretty good. Yeah, he's going full green. Um, this can be a little challenging. Um, can I pick... Oh, this is tricky. I'm just going to go for many resources here. Um, I can pick Pawn Shop, but I don't really want to. I'll just pick singles of these that I don't really need that much. Uh, with this, I can secure my second stage of the Wonder. And this is also not terrible. I would say even very far from. I would say it's pretty good actually. Um, but I, like this Orvine seems tasty. Oh, but not that much. I, I can get doubles just. Yeah. Uh, and here. I don't know if he will pick red from this hand. But on the other hand, I don't want to pass him that red. This is kind of tricky, but I think stockade here. And then guard tower here. Um, I can save the pick double stone to finish off my resources, unless he doesn't pick the stone. Oh, he will pick double stone eventually. I can I can count on that. I'm like, this is very lucky for me when I'm Raudos and I have this Giza next to me. Uh, and Halicarnassus going green. This is This is perfect. That's where I want to be. Mm, this round went very well, except I would like to have maybe one grey card instead of two reds. At least, at least a little locked. Um, they are fighting for green. Oh, this, this is even better. We can just pick this. Um, and I have almost everything worked out. Yeah, this would be also perfect, but yeah, I don't expect to have every everything in the game. Um, this is this sounds nice. I might be need to pick some gold card. Um, three, yeah. Hmm, and this is tricky. Because I really would like this, but at the same time, I really need to start pushing for reds. Um, he cannot build them. He can. Um, but I've, I still didn't think this. I'll just need Okay, now might be time to start picking some greys. I don't really want to pass him that, but it's not that good for him. Um, this will get bought for sure by this guy from time to time, so this sounds excellent. And now I really don't want to give him library, so I just will hide it. He's on 5 out of uh, 7 potential, 
so not that terrible for me and he's behind this guy on the on the compasses so should be okay and now i can pick either this or the whole like this gives me hmm I had four, five, six. Can I pick seven? I'm really re doing really good on point. So I just want to keep keep my own options open and just maybe hide something for uh, for them. I would prefer a gray card, for example, in this position. But uh, like this game went so so great for me that I can't really complain about anything here, really. This is just this, okay, except maybe this. But other than that, it was perfect. Maybe I, that's a mistake, maybe I should have anticipated this. Uh, but here I have another, like, super good pick, so... Thank you, game! <laughs> uh, this, this has been very... Uh, very easy to play, I would say. Like there, there is just like I'm put in a position where when everything works fine, I think that opponents should have played this slightly differently. It's it's kind of on them uh, that I'm doing like so so well. Um, I have to pay four for this, but this might be well worth it. Um, Three, six, this is worth seven at the moment, so I expect this, like this at worst is six, but it can be like nine, and I don't think he has any other options except for maybe one, 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 one more fight, but one more fight is not enough if I build one fight, so he's kind of screwed, so I think he will push for greens because he doesn't have anything to anything else to play for. I'm happy with playing, playing Giza because he's in so much trouble right now. Um, this is fine for me. And I don't want to pass this to Giza, kind of. I don't really care. Uh, one, two, three. So he has one pick left from this hand, which maybe will be a green card. He's put, pushing red hard, which is also perfect for me. Uh, at that point, at this point, I'm only just this guy. Um, I don't really want to push red. Like he needs to push red to win with me. So and I'm behind, so I I cannot. Like I still might lose to this guy. Uh, just because of mistake, maybe. No, oh, he pushed red. Okay. Uh, so I will do this. But he's drawing good. Okay, perfect. And now I have a choice. So this is four five point one, and this is five point two. But if I have to pay this guy, this is not worth it, and I have to pay this guy, right? Oh, this is also one more point. So I have to bury, and what do I have to bury? If I bury, th this is just seven, this is six potentially, so yeah, I have to bury this. And he'll probably pick it up for, for a five pointer. But I think just, just because he overthrew on red, maybe he felt like he has to, but I think he didn't. But it, the, he played well this game. Like the, this resource base is very sound. Uh, his picks were were pretty good. I think 
Zukunft wäre. Yeah, that's barely, but I'm lying. Uh, so yeah, overall pretty interesting game. He, he played, I, like, I, I think that, I don't know, maybe there was nothing else. I would have to look from his perspective. But the resource base is very sound. Uh, this speaks very nice also because it lets him get some money. I probably shouldn't pay him at all. I don't know if I did, but I should have minimized paying him because that is his like worst uh, worst stuff to do at this time. This was a very good pick. Um, overall, very good game. This Giza player had like terrible game. This pick uh, really nothing. Also this, like why? Mm. And like this was premature, I think. So yeah, pre pretty bad game, but it happens with Giza. Like uh, when you get to these high level tables and you get Giza and you don't get your way. And especially Giza B, you, you, just, you just like kind of get stuck, you're doing really nothing and yeah. You just need a lot of resources and you're just losing a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you later. Bye.